What's going on guys? So before we get into the video, I want to talk about a giveaway. And to be eligible, all you have to do is be a subscriber to the channel, leave a comment on this video telling me which figure out of my collection you would like to see me do reviews on, and that's it. I'll be doing the giveaway next week, and I'm going to randomize basically the names of the people that comment on the video. And then that person will have the opportunity to select either Marvel's Jubilee or Skullbuster. And that's it. The remaining figure I'll use for another giveaway at some point. But let's go ahead and jump into the main content, my current Marvel Legends collection. Alright guys, so we're going to be looking at my Marvel Legends collection and... Just real quick, here's a couple of posters that my fiance got me for Christmas. So I have the Marvel, kind of all the characters there. And then I have the Infinity War poster over here. And this is where I keep the majority of my Infinity War characters. Uh, you can see I have the heroes on the left side of the gauntlet. And then we have the Black Order over there. Then I got in-game Thanos up there. That's my Thor Ragnarok collection. Got some Captain Marvel. These are the first 10 year boxes that form a collage when you put them all together, but I'm probably going to be moving those to make room for some more figures that I can put down there. Like right now I have my homecoming figures right there. Then right there I have Luke Cage, the Punisher, Claire Temple, Carl Mordo and uh, the astral version of Doctor Strange. Over here are more MCU characters. These are the Avengers mainly. Um, so I have my setup up here. I have Black Panther. And there's the new Shuri in there. And the Dora Milaje. Some of these cubes, I don't have the lights in there yet, so. I'm going to be using my little light here to give you guys a look inside. But I have a couple of different versions of Eric Killmonger in there. The Build-A-Figure, Mbaku, we have Ulysses Claw back there. Uh, this is my Guardians of the Galaxy setup with Ronin in the back. In here, I just have kind of a mix of characters, um, Crossbones, the Mandarin, Ultron, Red Skull, and one of his henchmen from Hydra. And then this is a temporary spot right now for my in-game characters. So we have Ronin as well as Captain America. And this is another temporary holding spot because the Winter Soldier is actually one of my favorite movies, but this is where I'm keeping these figures for now, they'll probably be moving over there with the uh, Infinity War characters at some point. And then we have Ant-Man and Yellow Jacket here. Oh, and then I have Mystique over here sitting on top of Ghost Recon Wildlands, one of my favorite games. Um, so anyway, I pretty much, I need to still get a few more sets of lights to be able to illuminate all of those cubicles there. But these are my MCU characters, like I said, and this is kind of what it looks like. We're standing in the middle of the room, so that's all MCU. Now we're going to get to the good stuff. These are all comic-based figures here. This idea for this shadow box here, I had it for a while. Couldn't figure out what to do with it, and I saw someone in one of the Facebook groups, I forget, who it was so if you're a, if you're a subscriber feel free to comment on the video saying that i stole your idea but uh yeah so i <laughs> no. actually told him thanks for giving me you know the inspiration to do something like this so i went out and got the uh old man logan graphic novel and i just have that set up there on the wall i'm using a headlamp here so you guys can kind of see the top row is not illuminated um there's the Professor X that I'll be giving away. This is my setup where I do all my video editing. I have Spider-Man PS4 poster, uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse poster. So starting on the top shelf, you can see who I have there. 
couple of classic figures. Um, Miss Marvel is one I was glad to get. Sentry, Cloak and Dagger. You know, there's a whole range of figures. I'm trying to make sure I get them all in here because part of the giveaway is if you're curious for me to go into more detail um, and do an actual review on any of these figures. There's Hobgoblin, which cost a pretty penny to get, but was well worth it. We have Kingpin down there, and then it crosses over into my uh, X-Men. So, it's my X-Men collection. Or at least part of it. Here's some more of it down there. And I do have uh, an extra version of Archangel. In this form, he was known as Death, as one of the four horsemen of Apocalypse. This is my current X-Force setup. I'm glad that they're coming out with the uh, X-Force Wolverine so I can put this version of Wolverine back on his motorcycle. Then down here, I just have these guys set up there for now. Um, this is my Deadpool set up here. Got Bob in the back, Gwenpool, Deadpool, Lady Deadpool, Deadpool on a scooter, dog pool, squirrel pool, <laughs> head pool. <laughs> and then I took the, the Wolverine head that came with the uh, Weapon X figure and put it on one of these things because I had an extra one along with the silver main head. We have Ghost Rider and I put Old Man Logan on the bike. Then we move up into my symbiote collection. Uh, the one in the back, um, what, who's that, Annie Venom I think, is a Marvel Select version, as well as the Juggernaut figure over there, that's a Marvel Select. And my Colossus figure here is a Marvel Select forgot to mention that uh, this is the this is the current version of my sinister six and you got Peter Parker with a black eye but he's still smirking for some reason down here we have sort of an Avengers setup these are just female figures from the spider-verse And we have my Spider-Man display right there. And then there's some more Spider-Man characters over there. Spider-Punk hiding out in the back. And some classic characters there. Beta Ray Bill. Asgardians. The Defenders 4 pack um, and the event, another Avengers display, Hydra Supreme. I got the armored Red Skull back there with them and Baron Zemo. And this is my version of the Illuminati. It's just missing Professor X. And so I'm going to be getting another Professor X. And there we go with the Serpent Society and a couple of random figures there. But anyway, for the Illuminati, I'm going to be getting another Professor X. Initially, I bought this one for that, but I don't want him in that hover chair. I want him in the Toy Biz chair. So I'm going to be working on that, and then my Illuminati set will be completed. I may switch out to a different version of Black Panther. I'm not really sure yet. Um... Let me see, did I talk about the Fantastic Four? I think I did. But yeah, Fantastic Four with Silver Surfer in the background. The Defenders box set, uh, Amazon exclusive. So that's what the box looks like, if you guys haven't seen that. If you want me to do a video on that, like I said, let me know. This is what, um, pretty much the reason I'm showing my collection is just to get some ideas of what you guys want to see 
because I started collecting probably about a year ago and this is what I've amassed so far so there are a lot of reviews on a lot of these figures um, but you know they, they were coming out at a time when I wasn't collecting so if you're like me and you're sort of new to collecting then a lot of these figures you may be debating on getting you may not want to pay the price because some of them like for example uh pizza spidey here costs pretty good amount of money to get um trying to think of some of the most expensive figures that i bought i know pizza spidey was one of them rogue i have her with the mystique head um she was expensive to get uh and I did actually buy two sets of this wave so that I could have Shadow King and the Kingpin. Another set that was pretty expensive was the Dark Phoenix one right there. I haven't seen this book, Spider-Man, The Art of the Game, and you're into that type of thing, it's definitely worth picking up. It goes into a lot of how they designed the game, how they chose the elements of the suit, all types of you know different sketches and gadgets and there you see spider punk and different armor i got this at barnes and noble it's not cheap it cost me about 40 dollars but perhaps it's discounted at this point since the game's been out for a while so anyways if you guys are interested in seeing me do a review on any of these figures just leave the comment in the comment section of this video, letting me know which one or ones, if you want me to do like a group, like the Fantastic Four, or the Defenders Four Pack, or who, whoever, doesn't matter. Just let me know what you guys are interested in seeing, and I will do my best to try to fulfill those requests and make videos, because I wanna make videos that people wanna see. Don't just wanna make them for no reason because I spend quite a bit of time editing. So that's one of the main reasons that I'm doing this giveaway. And I think I forgot to show the binary version of Captain Marvel there. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. As always, thank you for your support and I will see you next time.